Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to do a video um, that targets all the senses and it's an oral activity. So your children need to use um, descriptive words in their, um, in their talking, okay? What you need to do is you need to find objects that target all the senses. So all the five senses and um, some will overlap clearly um, because you're using um, mostly sight and hearing and touch, okay? Uh, so I have uh, five objects here and um, I'll just go through them and sort of explain a few describing words that you can um, talk with your kids about. You need to spend some time before you play this game going through the objects, talking about what they see, what they hear, what they feel, what they touch and what they smell for each object. Okay, get those words and the ideas flowing through their minds. Okay, so here I have this squishy guy. Um, he's squishy, he's sticky, okay, um, he's bendable, I can, I can stretch, he's stretchy, okay, and he also has lights. So he lights up. Doesn't have a smell. Alright, here I have a coaster. If I scratch it, it's rough on this side from all the sparkles, so it's shiny, okay. Um, and then on the back, it's black and smooth. Right, so on the front is rough and shiny, and the back is smooth. Okay, and it's hard, doesn't bend. Here I have um, a cupcake um, container, and uh, it's bendable. Okay, it doesn't have a smell. No, it doesn't have a smell. Okay, it's yellow. Oh, yeah, I can call it this turquoise. Um, I don't, and it's it's not stretchy, so you could talk about what it's not as well. I have an orange just came out of the fridge, so it's starting to get co condensation on it because it's so hot today. Um, so it's wet, it's cold, okay. It smells like orange, okay. It's got bumps all over it, so it's it's um, rough. And here it's prickly at the top where it has a stem. It's a little bit sharp. Here I have a salt shaker, so it rattles, it makes noise, uh, it twists, it bends, okay, it's hard, it's shiny, and it's transparent. So go through those words and then um, help your child to describe them. And then what I want you to do after that is to um, take an object away have your child clever their eyes, take an object away, and then have them describe which object is missing. Okay? Um, if having only five objects is too easy for them, you can increase it. Um, and then just get them to use those describing words that you talked about and sort of do like a guessing game, which one's missing. Okay? Have fun, boys and girls.